Hey everyone, so this is Peter with carries.net doing a quick GPS test between the 2.2 Froyo leaked build that you can see on the left and the standard 2.1 Eclair that was updated a couple weeks ago on the right running on a Samsung AT&T Captivate. So let's just jump into it and see if there's any uh, differences in the GPS accuracy and tracking between the new Froyo leaked build and again the uh, Captivate Eclair update. Again, this is going to be kind of different on each device. Um, I've noticed a few differences between GPS reception, accuracy, and tracking on uh, different Captivates that we've used in office, so I guess don't take these for, for sure results. Um, Again, it looks like they're about the same on the left. It had a few more satellites in view and use than on the right. But as you can see, they're, they're using about the same, um, getting to about the same accuracy. I'll let it run for a few more seconds just to give you a better idea. Again, we're outside. Um, there aren't any clouds in the sky. We're about, I would say, 60 to 100 feet away from the nearest building slash structure. And again, we're running the GPS test. You can find that in the Android market. So, again, about the same. Uh, look online to also look at our article, excuse me, on carries.net to see the differences in the tracking on the maps. We used my tracks to uh, take a short 15 minute trip, part on city roads, part on a highway, to kind of give you an idea of what the GPS tracking like. Because some people have noticed that it kind of skips around when you drive. So, we'll show you guys that. And again, here's the video, which again, you can see that they're about the same. So, that's that. And again, look to our article on carries.net for more details and in depth coverage of this leaked build of Froyo for the ATT Captivate.